dog and the dog's actually bitten off the corners of these bits of decking so we're just repairing them that's one good thing you can do with wood and obviously wood that's painted so once you paint over that you shouldn't be able to tell the difference hi guys and welcome back we're going to have a look at the construction of decking and I'm just taking a look un under my decking at the moment and seeing what it looks like. Okay, so down the bottom we have a post and it comes up to a bearer and then this is the joist and that galvanized point there is a joist hanger. Now this joist could sit on top of the bearer but quite often it just hangs off the, off and down the side. The spacing the, of these would be approximately about 1.8 meters apart. Um, and then the last thing that goes on is the decking board. Now the spacing of these, these joists is all dependent on the, uh, on these, on the thickness of the decking board. Now these ones are a thicker decking board and therefore they are spaced, these joists are spaced at 60 centimeters and that is how it looks as you go down. But if these boards were a thinner 19 millimeter thick board then these joists would be at a 45 centimeter spacing closer together. For more information on exact measurements and placements of bearers and posts then there's a useful PDF here from MITRE 10. I'll link it down in the description. Decking boards always look better when they run the longest length. Makes them look bigger. So decking boards. Uh, the two choices that you've, we've got are the softwood and the hardwood. Now the softwoods are from conifers, things like pine which is a conifer, macrocarpa which is a conifer, cedar is another conifer. So it doesn't mean that they're any less um, hard wearing but generally they are a softer wood and therefore they are tantalized and usually then either stained or painted to give them longer uh, a longer time, longer durability. The hardwoods are generally, these are tropical hardwoods. This one is Quila. Quila is more expensive, but it's, it's a denser, heavier material than the pine. Pine is probably known, pine grows really quickly. And some of these grow slower and have more resins, natural resins in there, well, that will, which will give the timber a resistance to uh, decay. Now there is a big price difference between the two and obviously there's, there's two different sizes that the decking generally comes in and thicknesses. So before we talk about the price let's just quickly talk about the thickness. So here we have the thickness here which is 140 by 32 millimeters and the next popular size is 90 by 19 millimeters and that's this is obviously the planed finished version that's the tread grip on the other side if you prefer you can use the just the smooth surface and that's the same with this so the same same sizes 140 by 19 and 90 by 19 and the only difference here is the thickness on this one you get the choice of a thicker timber Generally speaking, you can't get the thicker timber in the hardwoods, just, just too, too expensive. Right, so let's have a look at uh, some different types of hardwood. There's a bit more choice when it comes to hardwood. So we've got the quila, which we've already looked at it, and it's got the, the grooves in on one side for tread. And then that's the quila. It's quite a nice one and very popular. Vitex, um, which is $16.95 per meter. As a popular choice too. And then we've got Garapa. This is $19.73 a meter. 
it's quite a light wood. Uh, and then the most expensive is mahogany at $23.95 a meter. And uh, that's a dense wood, quite a heavy and a nice, a nice grain. So that's the selection of hardwoods. So when it comes to pine and softwoods, um, we've got some choices too. So we've got the thinner 90 by 19 at $5.73 a meter. That's the pine and it's got the choice of two sides. You've got the wider 140 by 32 at $11.30 a meter. And that's got the two sides, the grip tread on one side and the smooth on the other. Then you've got what's called pine smooth. This is 140 by 32 and it's $11.30 a meter. And it's got a slightly different uh, ridging on that side. And then we've got just the plain 90 by 32 and that's $7.50 per meter. So just $7.50, $11.30 per meter, $11.30 per meter and $5.73 per meter. So another option for your decking is using composite decking. This is a basically a plastic style. Um, it's made up of 30% of rice husks, 30% of wood fiber, and 30% uh, high density polyethylene. It has a 15 year warranty. Size wise, you're looking at 138 wide by 23 millimeters depth. Cost wise, you're looking at around about 15 to 16 dollars a meter, a linear meter. It comes in 5.4 meter lengths. Comes in different colors. We've got slate gray, ash gray, chocolate, and walnut. Uh, you don't have to nail um, the decking down. It's basically a bracket system that slots into there and it automatically gives you your spacing of five mils per between the decking boards comes with a 15 year warranty. So that's composite materials, plastic composite as another, as, as another option to your decking. Okay, that wraps up this episode of decking part two. Um, stay tuned to the next part, which will be on stairs and steps and all the other extra things that you can add to decking. Hope you found it in, uh, useful. If you have, please give it the like button and um, subscribe and see you in the next one. I'm going to finish off doing a little bit of sanding.